So, good morning guys. Another beautiful day here in Belize. The birds are tweeting. Ali is browning. We all like that. Yesterday was just mind-blowing. Best birthday of my entire existence of 28 years on this planet. Can't be beaten, I don't think. Um, it was just amazing. So today we are leaving Villa Varana, a beautiful mansion on the beach, um, and we are going to Kikoka. Um, so we've got to drive three hours back to Belize City, and then we've got to get a one-hour boat to there. So that'll be fun. Um, it's going to be a pretty chill day, just a lot of travel, and then we'll get to relax wherever we're staying in our hotel later. Also, as we pass back through Belize City, I might be picking something up. You know, only like eight days late there'll be a video i might have already done it i don't know <laughs> i'm thinking like dear united airlines you know something really catchy at the title and then just like ah but until it's in my hands i am not getting excited and if you don't know what i'm talking about then go and watch the other videos it's been eight days it's been 84 years that's all that comes to mind is that meme from titanic it's been 84 years <laughs> feels like it however i've just kind of like not even care if i get it anymore you know, I've, I've got my some clothes. I, I, best people ever. Beautiful surroundings. Who needs it? Anyway, gonna stop rambling. Gonna be traveling today, leaving our mansion, going to another island. More beautiful scenery coming your way. You are welcome. I'm gonna go wake up now. Oh, it was so fun pretending to be fancy and rich <laughs> for three days. But reality must hit at some point. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So much I could show you as well. Let's go actually downstairs. I don't think I've actually showed you downstairs. I mean, it's just as horrible as the rest of the place, but you know, I'm gonna make you suffer. <laughs> Look at that reflection though. Oh my God. Being in paradise is tough. Oh no, it's locked. <laughs> I don't think any of us used this room, <laughs> like at all, or most of the place, uh, most of the space in this place, most of the space in this place. How many kitchens? I think this place has three kitchens, something ridiculous like that. I actually don't think I ever showed you the upstairs during the daytime, because we've been leaving so early. We haven't even used the pool downstairs. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot to mention, we also have a gym in there, like a full gym, weights, everything. That's where the celebrations were last night. Standard. <laughs> Spanish like Yun's Hotel. Anyway, very nice. Napped myself a little grand floor suite, if you will. Um, we got a nice little terrace patio thing. Oh, hello, people. Uh, the sea is right there. Um, one thing I wanted to point out, all the hotels in Belize have real coffee makers with real coffee, like all ready to go for every morning. A girl can appreciate that, not gonna lie. Thank you, Belize. So we have pretty much the rest of the day free. So it's three hours in the bus, it's one hour on the boat. But it kind of went pretty quick, so we're all gonna go and get some lunch because it's like three o'clock and we are starving. Um, so we're gonna go and eat, and the rest of the day is ours. So I'll pretty much just take you around the island. I did get another camera um, and something else, which I'm just waiting to be uh, dropped off now. Still no trust in anyone handling my baby, but we shall see. We shall see. Where is the beer? Excuse me. Must hunt and peruse the beer selection. Da 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 da. A dun 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 oh, baby! Oh, hello! Oh, 
my flip-flops, my laundry bag. Hello, darling. Hello. Oh, my Googles. Oh, hello. Oh, my toiletries. Where is she? Ah. I've been using Manuel for so long now. You, you are needed for the deep clean. Oh, I'm going to talk to you all tomorrow. I'm just going to, you know, have some time alone with her. And we'll um, discuss tomorrow, okay? Okay. Good morning guys from Kikoka luggage. So because we kind of didn't know because apparently it wasn't scanned um, after it left Houston, we wasn't sure, but the Belize Tourism Board like were working on it and they found it was a Belize airport and they were able to clear it for me. Um, I gave them my permission to clear it through customs and that worked and they brought it to me just before we jumped on the boat yesterday to Kikoka and yeah, I get my baby now for a few days. You know what I'm more scared about though? Putting it back on the flight in like three days time. I gotta put it back on the plane with United. And don't don't think for a second there won't be a video on this. Just because I have a back and I'm happy, I'm still raging inside. So United, be ready. Yeah, let's see what the day holds. I'm looking forward to exploring some of the Kikoka. Um, it looks like everywhere else we've been until now has been very. Um, I don't know, maybe not where a lot of tourists go. Uh, we've had a little bit of luxury as well, and this is definitely more of um, a popular, oh, battery low, sorry. It's definitely more of a popular touristy spot, and it's definitely got more budget options. So looking forward to exploring that with you so we can all take something from it. Um, but yeah. Let's go and enjoy over die. Okay, so quite a traditional Belizean breakfast is these. These are fry jacks. It's like um, a deep fried dough, bread, and um, beans and fruit and stuff like that. So I had these today with some beans and it was amazing. Been eating a lot of fruit here. But yeah, fry jacks. Definitely try them if you come. Okay, so we're gonna go and see the manatees now. They're just on an island just off of Belize City. And uh, it's very different. They're in a very protected area. So you cannot swim with them, which makes me very happy. They're actually quite blind fun fact for you not fun i don't know if it's fun not fun for them <laughs> um so we're gonna go and see them no one's allowed in the water nothing like that um fully protected area so that's good let's go see some giant sea cows even though they can't see us <laughs> Where are you? I don't Right, so we just went to a manatee tour, but we are gonna go and do, um, is it fly boarding? When you have that like jetpack on in the water and it like shoots you up and it's like really difficult. Like I know like it's gonna be ridiculous. I'm not gonna be able to do it, but we're gonna go and do that now. So hopefully Emilio will capture some footage on his camera for us for that. Very blessed to be around these photographers and videographers without my cameras. Cameras. Okay, I've had more than one. I have uno. <laughs> okay, let's go um, shoot into the sky. I don't know who we're doing it with. I'll let you know. All the dates. All the dates. Drop curtain. That was actually nicer lighting. I ain't been doing this for five years, should I? And the fire hose is connected to a big jet ski. Yeah. So I control the power. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. the only control that I have. Uh -huh. But the direction is the person who's on the flyboard. Wherever they go, they drag me. They drag me, <laughs> me and the person who's behind, right? Yeah. But yeah, if you notice, this, you have the out jets here. Yeah. This is where the water comes up from. So if you're like this, you're going to go up, right? If you want to go forward, you bend your ankles. If you want to go backwards, you bend a little bit, right? I guarantee they're going to get up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't believe me, you'll see.
Good afternoon, guys. Coming into the bathroom because we have the best lighting here. Yes, I um, I chased a shirt. You better believe I did. I'm sorry, but there's so many puns here, and it's like a long sleeve shirt with Belize down the side. I couldn't not. Um, I went flyboarding, and it was amazing like it was not hard for me and I have no balance or anything like that it was so much fun good morning guys it is the last day in Belize we fly out tomorrow um, it's gone so quick I can't really describe it to be honest um right so we're still in Kikoka and we're gonna go to San Pedro today for a food tour and just exploring San Pedro so that'll be fun um, and nice and a nice change from like snorkeling and being in the water of course I'm repping my uh punny shirt um i'm going to live in this now you're going to see me in this a lot just an idea of price as well this was 35 belizean dollar um and you just half it for us so it's not bad it would probably come to about 12 pounds something like that for a long sleeve t-shirt it's super soft as well i love it okay so yeah san pedro today for the last day let's go and enjoy let's go and do something a little bit different and um yeah let's see what san pedro has to offer if you want to buy a luxury condo only a quarter of a million us not bad i think i'll take two where you come if you want to party. There's a club like right there called Jaguars. It's Friday, so tonight's gonna to be really manic, really hectic. Um, but yeah, I didn't eat much breakfast this morning because we're going on a food tour here and I'm really excited. So I'll show you all like the local cuisine, what we're gonna be eating and what it tastes like and the price. I'll, I'll try and do it all today, okay? For you. All of them, most of them I like to refer as historic stops because they're the ones that started the foodie trend on this island today, right? Today we have maybe like 200 different restaurants and bars, but these I would say are the original ones that we're using today. We're gonna wait for everybody to get here and forward. <laughs> and then before we step in, I'll just tell you guys. Oh, wow. So this little corner photo with the small structured building, that was in 1976, right? Little burger joint. Then evolved to the restaurant you see with the big tree alive. And then a hurricane destroyed that building, and that's how they later built out of the country building we have today, right? In history, you learned that the high priests were the only ones that had access when it came to trading with the Europeans, like Christopher Columbus, right? So the tacos reflects um, two cultures, the European culture and uh, the Mayan culture, right? Which were the native Indians here first within this region. So this is an Akin taco, and I'm super excited to try it. Oh, okay. This is one of eight restaurants, so yeah. gotta take it slow. Vegano tacos mit bonen. Okay, so one thing I was gonna say, if you do book this food tour and you have um, dietary restrictions, like your lactose intolerance, celiac, vegan, nut-free, whatever it is, you just gotta let them know beforehand, and they'll come to all the restaurants and then um, tell them and sort out food for you. So you still do the tour, However, in some places you might just end up with this beautiful bowl of rice and beans and I haven't had that yet in Belize, so I'm very excited. <laughs> Okay, so our next stop, we're gonna do some beer tasting. I just found out, I was like, why do you have a Guinness? That um, they had Guinness before Bellican even started their brewing company, and it's obviously all imported from like Dublin um, for the main stuff, but um, yeah, everyone used to drink Guinness apparently here. Fascinating. Now, give me the drinks. So this is ceviche. It's, um, we actually had this on the boat the other day, and it's like really, really tasty. It's like the most delicious kind of like salsa that you could probably ever have. Is this, do they put habaneros in this, do they say? Uh, no, it's a heart. Oh, right, okay, cool. See ya, let go. 
We are basically just eating delicious salsa chips and drinking beer. It's been a really tough day, so I really need this. So true, it's so tough today. I don't know how I'm doing it really. <laughs> oh, by the way, this place is called Lily's Treasure Chest and it's right on the beach. It's really beautiful. Like, you could kind of like spend hours sat inside watching the sea drinking beer. Sounds terrible, I know, but I'm trying to sell you one of them. <laughs> So that's where we ate with all the colors down there, but this is actually the oldest bar on the island <laughs> She's very excited about it oh. So we're just come to a little shop these are homemade organic. This is just pure coconut with a little bit of sugar Oh my god, yes Yes Yes, a million times yes. This is the Las Paletas by Regina. So that's, is that the only shop here that sells them? Yes. Okay. You can actually see like the chunks of coconut. Oh my God, it's so tasty. Okay, so this is our next stop. We're getting more food. My God. Okay, so we're gonna be trying a tostada now and it's got like mushrooms and all sorts of veg stuffed under there. So let's have, give it a go. This one is just grated coconut, like we saw the coconut uh, place with sugar again, melted sugar inside. Nice. So mind these for you guys to taste, right? So you can sample them and see what Belizean sweet is really like, right? Okay, so this is our last stop for a chocolate boutique and they actually said that Belize has the best chocolate in Central America. Um, they used to use the cacao. Um, if you have never tried raw cacao, I do recommend just, just the experience of tasting what like its original form is like. It's like a weird mix between sweet and bitter. You can't eat a lot of it. I don't know how they did back in the day, but I can't. One little thing is enough for me. Um, but yeah, they used to use like the Mayas, used to use back in the day. They're using teas as a medicinal stuff. So hopefully we get to try some chocolate right now. And I just found out fun fact that the owners of this chocolate place are from Britain and they've lived here for 20 years. So even more excited. So we're getting little tasters. This is 75% dark chocolate. Oh my God. That is the best dark chocolate I have ever tasted. Oh my God. Look at this. Chocolate balsamic vinegar. You can put it either on your ice cream or your salad. I am so tempted to try that. All right, so we finished in San Pedro and we're gonna head back to Kikoka now on the boat, in the queue, in the heat. Hot cinnamon buns, fresh to me, and they're good. <laughs> Last night we went out for a lot of drinks and dancing here in Kikoka and it was just the perfect way to end an amazing trip. Woke up feeling a lot fresher than I thought I would to be fair. Um, so we're all gonna head out for breakfast but then that is it. We are going. Like a 20 hour layover in Chicago so I've got a hotel in the city so it'd be nice to see a little bit of Chicago. I'm very scared to put her back into the hands of United but Needs must, you know. Yeah, time is up in Belize. It has been something else, it honestly has. Um, I don't, like, it's just the journey from everything from losing my luggage, well, not me, United, um, to having my camera completely destroyed and everything in between. The highlight for me has to be Silk Keys, where we had dolphins and sharks and giant turtles and stingrays. Uh, on those beautiful, beautiful little islands. Um, that's, that and the Blue Hole were like the highlights, the absolute highlights. 
and I'm so happy I got to take you along. I've learned a lot, um, but maybe I'll save different things because so much has happened, like I said, with the luggage, with the camera, having to vlog on my phone. Maybe we'll talk about that in a different video. Um, I don't know how I'm going to put these videos together yet, but for now, I'll figure that out when I get home. But yeah, I will see you all on the other side when I get back to the UK and I can process everything that has happened and we can talk more about it then. But until then... Here we go! The last one! <laughs> Apparently this flight is 72 US to get us back to Belize City. It's definitely a more expensive option. Thank you very much. Okay, safe flight. Yes, take back the memories, guys. Let your friends know. And my luggage. <laughs> you call her direct to the Belize International Airport. The Cessna Caravan is equipped with four emergency exits to the Belize International Airport in about 11 minutes after departure. <laughs> 11 minutes. This will be one of the shortest flights I've ever taken. 11? <laughs> 11 minutes. <laughs>